All right, guys, it's Slam 99 here. Well, today I'm going to bring to the tabletop review on my Set Me Model L. And I tell you what, guys, this is one of the smoothest 223 that I ever shot. I mean, the it's not for everybody. I, I, I can be straightforward, be honest to you on this. It's not for everybody. Uh, a set me model L was a crossbreed between an HK G3 and a H and a uh, American M4. I mean, a daddy and a mommy. That's a baby. I mean, you know, daddy's here, mommy's here. And that's a dad. That's a baby. So mommy, daddy, and baby. I mean, man, this is the smoothest true 23 I ever shot. I'm not saying that because I got paid by Marco Mar. I got, you know, or, or, or any company out there that's making this firearms. And I say that should be, should be the fact because, man, I shot this. I, I put about 280 rounds through this gun so far. About 300. I'll, I'll give it a good 300 rounds. Um, by so far, as far as I know, I haven't have any malfunction to this gun and this gun. They recommend a 400 round break-in period. They they want how to say the owner manual um, advise us to put a tape on on the bottom of the uh, 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 um, the ejector hole or the ejector port or whatever you call it right here, so it won't damage the paint. And I shot about 20 rounds through it at the range. I saw some brass of hitting this area. I said, all right, I'm gonna go home and buy the helicopter tape from Amazon and put it on here and voila, solve the problem. The owner manual did recommend that as well. I think they recommend a 400 round break-in period. And as far as I know, um, they recommend also recommend 62 grain, full power, hot load ammo. And guess what? I have some. So I took it out of the ring, shoot it, um, I was abusive. I was rapid fire. It is, you know, to be to be straightforward, right? Shooting three hundred round of ammo right now has cost a lot of freaking money because the price of ammo right now. And I reload two twenty three, so that help out a little. And I can't find freaking primer anywhere. Uh, I found some, you know, here and there, but not as of two or three years ago or five six years ago. I just went to the uh, 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 shooting uh, 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 supplies or, you know, a reloading store and get one. You can't get them anywhere. Okay. So 223 is really, you know, expensive right now. Let's dive to the gun and let's put the mommy away and let's put the daddy away and focus on this baby here. And this gun, not for everybody. Okay. Is this gun... Eventually, will replace my M4 or not? No, it's not going to replace my M4. It's not going to replace my Colt's uh, uh, M4. And it will not replace my uh, uh, any of my AR, my, all my AK, all my HK91. Okay, I like it because I want. I just want some different something. It's not an AR. That's true. Twenty three. So I know the store owner, and the store owner, you know is a friend of mine and he have one of these on the shelf it was the last one on the shelf and he's been sitting on his shelf for almost two years pre-covid and he told me it was like man you, you know that's one 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 gun left if i want to take it out of his hand he gave me as cost plus tax and because of the color you know it's gray Okay, it's not green, it's not black, so it's not somewhat, you know, assault rifle-like. Uh, so I was like, hmm, people want some cool shit. They want flat dark earth, they want black, they want, you know, what OD green, but, you know, this freaking gray color it was a little odd. So I was like, you know what, if I, I want something not an AR and something that was... You know, shooting 223, so I get this. This was a safety check. I did a safety check earlier, and voila, rounds clear. Um, this gun came with a 16 inch barrel, 
six and a quarter inch. There you go. To be to be you know exact, delay roller lock. So it's almost a uh, what you call it a HK like. I took it to the range uh, that day. Well, not that day. The day that I bought it, uh, out to the range and shot it. And um, um, the guy was shooting next to me, asking me, "Oh, is that a new HK thing that came out? Look just like an HK." I said, "No, it's a." Is a Setney Model L, a Spanish um, ex-military, uh, what do you call it? Um, let me move on, click on the side. I bring it here for a reason. I'll give me a minute, I'm going to talk about this real quick. Um, you know, it's a, a military surplus part kit that were made here in the U.S. And uh, I do a lot of research on this gun before I do a video. And the spanish army and the spanish navy were actually having a lot of complaint on this gun because it had problem with feeding uh the receiver macwell didn't fit properly it's jammed and the main reason is the receiver and the spring the recoil spring and the trigger spring <clears throat> and the ejector spring but marco mar done a really good job of re-engineering all this uh all the spring component on this gun so it's running flawlessly I mean, they need breaking period. And I be honest with you, I don't even need to break this in. I took it out, I shot about 280 rounds. Yeah, 280 rounds to 300 rounds. And I have no problem with this gun whatsoever. The only downside of this gun, it came with this very fancy, okay industry, I think. I don't know what the heck who made this. But if this factory mag fit the gun very well, okay, the gun is clear. Fit the mount very well, okay. And guess what? My old military surplus mag fit very well, okay. K industry, okay industry, some okay industry mag also fit fit very well. Here, it's click. All right. Surprisingly, it doesn't fit my. He map because the Mac well on is a little bit tight. It's a lot tighter than um, a lot of your AR um, lower. So that's why it's not fitting the P mag. That's the downside. And I have the cheap Palmetto States. Um, I think make my dual aluminum mag will fit perfectly. I mean, you know, hit click, hit click. So, and then. <laughs> That day that I was on the at the range, I'm trying to show off my Soulfire, you know, high cap man 60 rounder, just you know to show off, and it doesn't fit. It wasn't locked in, in place, guy. Don't lock in place because of this front mag rail here. I try to jam it in, but it won't. It will never fit. I scratched the mag. I put the little, yeah, I also scratched the receiver, which is okay, you know. Uh, I try to jam it in there, it won't fit, okay. Uh, the safety on this gun is not ambidextrous, guys. It's only, 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 only on your left side, okay. Very HK-like. That's what I'm saying, you know. And then the collapsible stock with the also made collapsible with the LC model. And this is not a collapsible stock. This is a full fixed stock. And people complain about the square uh, stock. Uh, I have no problem with it. I think it's very soft recoil. Uh, actually, surprisingly, it was sh it was actually shoot smoother than my C ninety one, the Century Arm, and the C ninety one, the C ninety three. So you know, HK light push pin just like HK. So the front, the front also take it out with a push pin as well. At the front here, it's a little loose, not a problem. Uh, the back mechanism was a little, mm. instead of the long recoil spring, this spring would fit right into the stock. So there's no uh, what you call compartment for you to hold your uh, cleaning kit for, you know, like a lot of your, uh, what do you call it, uh, 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 you know, America. Uh, uh, Americans uh, made firearm. We also have a, a lot of them, the M1, the M1, the M14, um, 
the, the Mini 14, also, you know, they can get the, uh, uh, um, what do you call it, a compartment in your stock, but this gun doesn't have that. So, you know, the com component was in here, okay? Uh, taking this gun apart was actually a pain of freaking butts. You gotta push this push pin here on the bottom push pin and then pull it out. I don't wanna mess with it, guys. I cleaned this gun and it took me almost, I would say 30 minutes to put this gun apart. I mean, to put a gun together. Take, it was, you know, about 10 minutes taking apart, putting this gun together is really a pain of freaking butt. So that as far as I want to assemble this gun, well, you put a bolt out, you put a bolt out, you gotta, uh, take the lower out to be able to put the, uh, uh, uh the bolt carrier group back in because of the, the way the gun design. Um, cause the hammer will actually blocking your bolt to go back in. If you can see the camera woman can focus in here. Yep. That's a hammer in there that was blocking the gun from a hammer from going back in. So it's a pain in the butt to put this gun together. I mean, I learned it the hard way and I don't want to do it again. So uh, if I, I only take this gun apart because I want to clean it, not because I take it apart just for the hell of it. It's not fun to put this gun together. I mean, it pain the freaking butt to put the freaking thing together. I mean, I was um, I was calling a lot of names uh, when I tried to put this gun together, and my wife would say, "What's the matter with you?" I say, "Well, this freaking thing was a pain in the ass," and I was uh, cussing. I don't want to cuss in the video, so that is not something that I would not want to do. Okay. Um, and best RP on this gun was advertised as fourteen ninety nine. $1,500, but you, you, you want to get and use, you can, but most people buy this type of firearm, they want to keep it for themselves, it's for, uh, um, I wouldn't say collectible, uh, and it's a Cold War era firearm, and they even duplicate the logo of the, um, what do you call it, the Spanish Arsenal Ordinance, there you go, um, you know, logo pretty, they, they, you know, they make a pretty good copy of it. And also on the other side, um, the marking is very military-like. I did look at some picture of some military uh, marking. It's very, it's an almost a direct copy, but without a select fire. Okay, so they don't have a switch fun, but uh, you know, button. According to the media, this gun was a fully semi-automatic, fully semi-automatic. Okay, uh, one trigger pull per round. Okay, so it's not a, they don't have a fun switch that, you know, like uh, the military does. Uh, it's a fun gun to shoot, a very soft recoil, and the front sight pin was very, very fine. I mean, I would, I would say it's almost precision-like uh, compared to my AR, my M4. So very, very fine, very, very thin compared to a lot of my M4. Okay, that's a plus sign. Um, the back sight was 100 meter to 400 meter. Uh, back here, so the bigger uh, peep sight was for uh, was a 200 meter, okay, and the you know the smaller one was actually for the um, uh, 200 meter, and a big one here for a 400 meter. Oh no, no, sorry, backward. The big one was for the 400 meter, and the smaller one for the close range, so a, a 200 meter. I sighted in uh, at 100 yard. I'm very happy with the results. I would say I'd be able to shoot a um, six inch group at 100 yard iron sight. I'm, I'm very happy with that, guys. I would take that after deer season, okay? Give me a couple months after I got my attack, my deer, and I will shoot it at, the, at my range and do some more demonstration on this video. Uh, the trigger pull on this gun is really suck. I mean, I hate to use the right word. Um, it's almost an eight and a half pound to nine pound uh, trigger pull. It's a hell of a trigger pull. I mean, I do a safety check again, just to be sure. It's a very, very long trigger pull. It's heavy, long trigger pull. So very mirror spec trigger pull, okay? Um, I came with a 16 and a quarter inch 
coal hammer forged nitrite finished barrel. Okay. Uh, stamp receiver. Uh, American make handguard. American make hand grip. American make stock. Uh, a, a component inside. A barrel is American made, I believe. I don't know who make it for Marco Mar. But um, some was uh, um, some, you know, um, that Marco Mar claimed that was made uh, uh, from a surplus barrel. A uh, new surplus barrel. A new part kit. There you go. Um, to lock this gun back. They don't have the bolt. Your bolt release on this gun is weird, guys. I'll show you this, all right? Bad thing of this delayed roller lock. When you have an empty round, empty magazine, the gun don't lock back. Okay, it will keep going forward. To lock the gun back, there's a button on top of the receiver right here. That's your bolt release, and that's your bolt hold, hold open button right here. To release the button, that's another, uh, well, to, to release the bolt, so there's a button on the left side of the receiver, which is right here. You push on it to close your bolt. Okay? Uh, that's a very nice feature. But sometimes you're gonna use both hands. You know, it's kind of awkward. You know, when you try to put your thumb up here and try to keep the, you know, like like that. You know, it's kind of awkward position. You know, it's not very for for you know, uh, uh, ergonomic. There you go. Um, you know, you gotta use your weird position. Um, the Mac release button is right here in the index finger. So very very. It's hard for this gonna drop free because I try to drop drop them free. Some do and some don't. So the drop free option is, um, I would say, is a, is a hit and miss. Okay, some of you for fast reloader like my buddy, he loves to show off that he you know drop the mag and put the next mag in within, you know, like half a second. You know, so uh, his tactical shit that he learned from uh, uh, from the Wichita. Uh, SWAT team or you know, yeah, but um, that was good, you know, but yeah. And then what else I need to cover? Um, the purpose only this gun is possibly for more collectible um, uh, 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 um, Scenario uh, Honey wise, yes, you can uh, I found this gun very accurate to go hunting with but the this gun weighed a freaking ton You know this gun was weight almost seven pound and 11 ounces empty okay so with the optic on here and, and, and the 30 round mag you're expecting about at least 11 pound so my hunting gun i try to keep it under seven pound that's me all right my boat action gun was all under seven pound so um, overall length is 38.25 inch, so about 30, I can give it 38 inches, guy, from the butt stock all the way to the muzzle, okay? Uh, the three prop flash hider is pretty damn cool. I think I kind of like that. It's almost like m 16 light kind of, uh, uh, flash hider. Uh, I haven't shot this in the low light condition yet. I don't know how the flash go, but... According to the M16 experience, the three prong wasn't high hiding the flash very good. I know that because I grew up with M16, so I know exactly the M16 had put out a big old fireball, even with the three prongs uh, 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 flash hider. It might be the ammo, I don't know, but you know, um, you can. I, I don't think you can get it used. I saw some used one on Gun Broker that cost about fourteen hundred dollars. So for a hundred dollar more, I would go get you a new one. You know, uh, the fit and finish on this gun. I love to talk about fit and finish on this gun. Marco Mall, you did a very good job. You know, I think the owner name is Dave. I think that I contacted him. Got missing a front sight when I bought it. I don't know how it's missing a front sight. Somebody must messing with it. So I called him. I called him. He was on COVID break and uh, uh, out for two weeks. So as soon as he back in full swing, he sent me the front sight. So I'm very happy. Thank you, Marco Mar, for doing that. Give you a call on that. Good customer service. The guy sounds pretty nice, pretty legit. I like good. I like to deal with good people. So Marco Mar, very good customer service. Very straightforward. Very honest. 
and also telling them maybe the quarter control, you know, that you miss the front side, the owner said, I am the quarter control guy. So he looked, he, he literally looked through every single gun that come out of his factory. Uh, I don't know why missing a front sight. It might be some bad a shot stealing. I don't know, you know. Um, so talk to him and, you know, email him and talk on the phone. He sent me that as soon as he get out of uh, uh, COVID. And voila, I got my part. And God bless him, you know, that he got this... Um, uh, COVID, that's bad, but, uh, you know, at least he's being honest about it and send me what he, uh, I need. Um, that's all I got for you guys, guys. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget, please share my video with your, uh, friend and family. If, if you find that my video helpful, please leave me a comment. Um, any future video that you want me to do, just leave me a comment. I'll, See you guys next time, and hey, don't forget, keep America great, and God bless the USA.